guys, Ryan here at Signature Edits, and today I'm going to show you how you can easily remove people and objects from your photos using the spot removal tool in Lightroom. Let's do it. Now for all you hands-on learners, I have made this raw image available for download below. Just check the description link and you can download this image and edit along with me. Let's get into it. All right, so today we're looking at this photo of the beautiful coastline. The only problem is we have a couple of tourists who are also looking at this beautiful coastline and as awesome and lovely as I'm sure they are, we don't want them in our photo. So how do we get rid of them? Well, easy using the spot tool in Lightroom. Now this spot tool, basically we make a selection, click, and Lightroom is going to automatically analyze the image, find a similar area and replace it with that portion. If I go to clone, it is going to exactly clone that area of the image. If I go to heal, it's going to try and intentionally and intelligently make adjustments between this area with no spot and this area, which has a spot. So as you can see, it does a pretty good job. You're just going to have to play with the feathering, the finesse. And if this area that you select doesn't automatically work, you can just drag it somewhere else. And just like that, you can see how our man is now gone. Let's do it again with his beautiful partner in adventure here. Click, and just like that, Lightroom is going to automatically find a place, and you can see that it's not quite right. The hill just isn't lining up. So I'm going to drag over here until I find something a little bit better. There, I like that. Bam! And just like that, our people are removed from our Lightroom photo. And it took about two seconds. So when does this work? This works really great in situations like this, especially where I've got this nice textured grass which I'm removing from. It's very hard to tell the difference between the grass before and the grass after because it's a nice textured pattern. However, if I had an area that wasn't textured, it would be a lot more tricky. So for instance, if I wanted to remove the chimney from this roof, let's zoom in and see what we can do. I'm going to select this area by clicking and Lightroom is automatically analyzing and you can see that the roof line just isn't lining up. I could try perhaps substituting it with some roof from here, but then it's picking up these clouds as well. So let's drag our image over just a little bit and try it out on this end of the building. Dragging it into place. You can see it's doing an okay job. We could try hitting clone to see if that does a better job. And yeah, it actually seems to be much nicer than when it's trying to automatically heal intelligently. Take our opacity down and we can kind of blend the effect, but with this chimney, we want it all the way gone. Perfect. Just like that, we've removed the chimney. Let's try it again and see if we can get rid of this bell tower. Okay, I'm going to click and, oh, it looks like this is going to be very hard to fit the bell tower into my circle. Well, that's actually okay because this is not just a spot, it's also a brush. If I click and I hold it, I can draw on the section of the image that I want to replace. And then Lightroom is going to search and try and find somewhere to fill it with. So let's do that again because that was pretty sloppy. Make my selection a little smaller here. Draw it in there just like that. And you can see that it isn't doing the greatest job. We'd have a hard time doing this in Lightroom. You might be better off doing it in Photoshop. However, if we wanted to, we can move this selection down. Maybe make our feather a little bit larger. No, nope, smaller because we've got some bell tower sneaking in there. And move around our replacement mask until we find something that looks like it's lining up okay. Now in this case, we might be better off using the heal function. Nope. So that's about as close as I'm going to get, right now at least. So that is how to replace things and remove people from your photos in Lightroom very quickly and easily. You can see that this is a super powerful tool. Let's say that we wanted to get rid of this lovely little radio beacon. Well, that'll probably be easy because in behind it, it's just blue sky and then we've got grass at the base. Let's color over it. And bam, we don't even need to adjust that. Just like that, we've removed that from Lightroom. So this is a super powerful tool, super fast. Again, you're going to have to use it with mixed results and just experiment until you get it right. So that's how you remove objects from your backgrounds in Lightroom, whether it's people or little towers or chimneys. I hope you can see how powerful this is. It's super quick, super effective, and super efficient without having to go into Photoshop. That saves you a lot of time. All right, well, 
please hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you want to download this practice image and have a go for yourself, you can find it in the link below.